Do you have business with the court? Splendid. There's a house. Wonderful. Here is... I'd be glad. And of course... Now, what would you like to purchase? Very... Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to... Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to... Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to... As you wish. Speak... Certainly. What did you have in mind? Very well. Is there anything else you'd like to purchase? Very... Is there anything else you need? Feel free to return to me with questions. Heard the a reform in the dawn. Open forum. Word is Ellen Wen's fury. Have you heard? There's been an... What could it mean? If I'd been on guard... The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. You look like you could use both. Please address all questions to the steward, Folk Firebeard. The Jarl is not to be disturbed with common affairs at court. You direct those concerns to me. The Legion's always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what it takes, our headquarters is in Solo. Think you've got the medal, eh? Honestly, the Legion can use all the able bodies it can muster. We have our hands full. A dead king, a rebellion, and now dragons. Skyrim's a mess. If you're serious, make your way to Solitude. Our headquarters is Castle Dower. You find General Tullius there, commanding our forces in Skyrim. 
But talk to Leg at Rika. She handles the local recruiting. I'll take my leave then. What are your thoughts on all this? I know it's what everyone says. To go to new places. See the world. Watch the skies, traveler. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruf. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? Have we? Oh, oh, of course. You were at Helgen. One of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Hadvar's alive. I hope that's true. He's a damn good soldier. But he hasn't reported in yet, so he can't exactly confirm your story. In the meantime, why don't you have a chat with Legged Ricca? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. Sir. You survived Helgen? General Tullius told me what happened. Not many made it out alive. I've got a good feeling about you, and I don't often get good feelings about anything. A warrior knows to trust her gut. I'm not going to go through the normal process with you. I've got a little test lined up. Pass that, and we'll talk about you joining the Legion. Is that confidence or bravado? Confidence I can use. Bravado gets soldiers killed. We'll soon find out. I'm sending you to clear out Fort Haragstad. If you survive, you'll pass. If you die, then I'll have no further use for your corpse. The Ancients built many of the fortresses that dot the landscape of Skyrim. Sadly, most have fallen into disrepair, and nearly all have been overrun with bandits or other vagabonds. Fort Haragstad is one of the few that remains mostly intact. We're going to install a garrison there, but first you're going to clean out the bandits that have moved in. 
Good, that's what I want to hear. Now go make it happen, soldier. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Now ain't this a surprise? Bring him down!
concentrate. The battlefield is full of distractions. Ignore them. The Emperor's cousin, Vittoria Vici, is getting married soon. The reception will be public. Anyone in solitude can attend. If Ulfric gets his hand on that crown, it won't be a fairy tale. It'll be a problem. Don't you Nords put any stock in your own traditions? I thought the Moot chose the king. We're back in Elisif. When the Moot meets, they'll do the sensible thing. Not everyone's agreed to the Moot. You've been here long enough to know that Nords aren't always sensible. We follow our hearts. So what? Ulfric gets this crown and then suddenly he's High King? No, it's not as simple as that. But the Jagged Crown would be a potent symbol for his cause to rally around. But if we found it first... And we gave it to Elisif. In the absence of the moot, it would further legitimize her claim. Perhaps. I'm entrusting you with what resources I can spare. But I'm warning you, if this turns out to be a waste of time and men... It won't be a waste. Welcome back, soldier. I'm glad you made it in one piece. I'll send men to garrison the fort right away. You did well. I'm impressed. But before we go any further, it's time for you to officially join the Legion. Speak with General Tullius. He'll administer the oath. In joining the Legion, you'll be taking an oath binding you to the service of the Emperor, and thus to every citizen of the Empire. Changed your mind? Decided you wanted to soldier for the Empire after all. Well then, repeat after me. Upon my honor, I do swear undying loyalty to the Emperor, Titus Mead II. And unwavering obedience to the officers of his great Empire. May those above judge me, and those below take me, if I fail in my duty. Long live the Emperor, long live the Empire. Welcome to the Imperial Legion, soldier. Just remember, we take care of our own. Once you're in the Legion, you're in it for life. Speak to Behrend. He's normally out by the forge. He'll get you outfitted. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Legate Ricca has a special assignment for you. It won't be a waste. Make sure you take the auxiliary here. You can send her back when you get there and find nothing but old bones and cobwebs. The Stone Fist's no fool. He's found the crown. But we'll get to it first. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Welcome to the Legion, Auxiliary. Listen up. Ulfric's right-hand man, Galmar Stonefist, has located what he believes is the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. We're going to make sure he doesn't get his hands on it. The rest of my men are already assembling outside Corvinjun. I'll meet you there as soon as I finish up here. Don't wait for me. Get to Corvin June as soon as you're ready. I'll meet you there. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? Yep, I just have one question for you. Light, medium, or heavy?
All right, here you go. Should keep you light on your feet, and hold up decent enough if you wind up trading blows with the enemy. Now that's it. One free outfit per soldier. You lose that, or get it banged up. You'll need to pay like everyone else. Such an investment will mean that I can take better care of my family, as well as my customers. You'll look back on this as one of your best decisions, I swear it. It's almost all I have time for these days. The men training here in solitude, and the troops out in the field, they all need weapons and armor. But, I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Ah, uh, to be honest, no. But High King Torig supported them. And now, her Lady Elisif has thrown in with them. You could say I'm a king's man at heart. Hmm, I guess that's Jarl's man now. My loyalty lies with solitude. So, where Jarl Elisif leads, I follow. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. Return any time you need arms or armor. My forge never rests. Spare some gold for a veteran? I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. I do miss that helmet. What's the situation? Good to see you, my friend. I knew you'd make a proper legionnaire. I'm glad you'll be with me in there. I don't like the looks of this place. And I'm not talking about the Stormcloaks. These old ruins. They don't want us here. The Ancient Ones. Better left alone. But never mind all that. We're the Emperor's soldiers. We'll do our duty no matter what stands in our way, right? Stormcloaks were already camped out around the entrance when we got here. They don't know we're here yet, though. Well, that's something, at least. Looks like the damned rebels got here first. No matter. We have the element of surprise. Prepare to move out. 
Follow me. Listen up, Legionnaires. Those Stormcloaks are here for the same reason we are. Ulfric, the Pretender, wants that crown, but we're not going to let him have it. I realize some of you may know men on the other side, but remember this. They are the enemy now, and will not hesitate to end your lives either. General Tullius is counting on us to bring back the Jagged Crown, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Let's show these rebels what real soldiers look like. And this must be the Hall of Stories. Oh, I've heard of this. These walls are supposed to show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover. One thing at a time, soldier. Focus on our primary mission. We're searching for the crown. here either. Even if these carvings tell us where the crown is, I'm sure we're going to have to find a way through this door. See what you can figure out, Auxiliary. I'm going to check out these carvings over here. Hmm, what is that? Some kind of stone claw? I wonder what it's used for. Good job. 
right, Legionnaires. Spread out and see what we've got. Auxiliary, do what you do best. See if you can find some way to get that gate open. Keep looking. There's got to be some way to get that gate open. obvious, but do you see a lever anywhere? Alright, let's move, men. We've got more. Steady, Legionnaire. We've been through worse. Just keep your guard up. Follow me. Let's see where this leads. Crown should be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. here and see if we can find anything else that could be of use. There's not much up there, but if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Ulfric wary and wasting troops garrisoned at home. Excellent work, soldier. I have to admit, I had my doubts it even existed. 
Did you run into any trouble? That's what I like to hear. I'll get the full report from Legged Ricca. Now then. I need someone I can trust to deliver a message of great import to Jarl Balgruf of Whiterun. We have it on good authority that Ulfric has raised enough men to attack the city of Whiterun. Jarl, however, refuses the Legion's support. This missive should convince him. Be aware, soldier. These documents contain sensitive intelligence for the Jarl's eyes only. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. No doubt requesting to garrison his men in my castle. How many times must I deny him? Well, out with it! I see. Give the papers to my steward. Don't be daft. Proventus is my eyes. Just give me the letter. I presume once I have it, I can do as I please with it? Good. Hmm. These are interesting reports. Proventus, what do you make of all this? If Ulfric were to attack Whiterun... As in all things, Lord, caution. I urge us to wait and see. Pray wait. I'm of a mind with Ireleth. It's time to act. You plan to march on Windhelm? I'm not a fool, Proventus. I mean, it's time to challenge Ulfric to face me as a man, or to declare his intentions. He'll do no such thing. He was rather straightforward with Torig. Torig? He simply walked up to the boy and murdered him! That boy was High King of Skyrim. I'm not the High King, but neither am I a boy. If Ulfric wants to challenge my rule in the old way, let him. Though I suspect he'll prefer to send his storm cloaks to do it for him. True. He's already proven his personal strength. Now he seeks to prove his armies. Then might I urge you to consider General Tullius's request? I mean, if you are bent on offending Jarl Ulfric. Ulfric is the one who has offended. But Proventus has a point. Ulfric has made it clear. In his mind, to refuse his claim is to side with the Empire. And what harm is there in letting a few legionnaires die in place of your own men? It seems cowardly. Was it cowardly, then, to accept the White Gold Concordat? This again? That was different. Was I given a chance to object to the terms of the treaty? No. The Jarls weren't asked. We were told. And we had to like it. The chests of gold didn't hurt. Damn it! This isn't about gold! It's time to decide. Lord, wait. Let us see if Ulfric is serious. Oh, he's serious. But so am I. Finally. You there. I have a message for you to deliver to our friend, the esteemed Jarl of Windhelm. Deliver this axe to Ulfric Stormcloak.
How long have you been in Skyrim? Yes, give the man my axe. If he returns it to you, it means we have business to settle. If he keeps it, then we are at peace. Good. Good. Proventus, bring me my pen. And the good parchment. Are now, if you don't letter, mind, Lord? I've got a... Yes, to General Talius. I need to make a few things clear before I accept these legionnaires of his. Give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire's putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. And what <clears throat> would you have me do? If he's not with us, he's against us. He knows that. They all know that. How long are you going to wait? You think I need to send Bolgraf a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torrid. Torig was merely a message to the other Jarls. Whoever we were... Yes? Make it quick. I'm a busy man. Is that so? I've been wondering when he'd come around. Oh. What's this? Ah. Uh, you're quite brave to carry such a message. It's a pity you've chosen the wrong side. You can return this axe to the man who sent it. And tell him he should prepare to entertain... visitors. I expect a great deal of excitement in the city of Whiterun in the near future. Sooner than you think. We Ready with... Sir, I... I have a... <sighs> Take a moment to breathe, soldier. 
But, uh, sir. Breathe. The outer walls are strong. If we can hold them there. They have catapults. Damn it. Where did they get catapults? The city walls are already falling apart as it is. My scouts tell me they're loading them with fire. So, he wants to take my city. Walls intact. The men will be fighting in flames. My men are fearless. It's the Imperial milk drinkers I'm worried about. If you prefer, I can take my men and leave. No, uh, of course not. Just don't let me down, Scipius. We'll need to set up water brigades to combat the flames. Already taken care of. You Imperials are efficient. I'll give you that. How long until they arrive? Sir. Not long. They're hiding in the countryside. Damn it. What's he waiting for? Sir? What? Sir, they're on the move. He'll be at the gates at any moment. Why didn't you say so immediately? Sir, I tried. This is it. Time to see what these storm cloaks are made of. The men are already gathering at the gates. Move it, soldier. Spread the word. Go, go, go! Oblivion take them. Every miserable last one of them. The storm is here. In force. Get down to the front line. This is it. We must hold the city. Move it! All I hold sacred, that's a shout! <laughs> This is an important day for the Empire, and for the Legion, and for all of Skyrim. This is the day we send a message to Ulfric Stormcloak and the rebel Jarls who support him. But make no mistake, what we do here today, we do for Skyrim and her people. By cutting out the disease of this rebellion, we will make this country whole again. Ready now! Everyone with me! For the Empire! For the Legion!
heard they were forming a Dawn Guard. Vampire. There's something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. By defeating Ulfric at Whiterun, we have solidified the allegiance of the Jarl. Perhaps the Stormcloaks will soon lose heart for this little rebellion of theirs once and for all. I'm promoting you to Quester. Take this blade, a symbol of your new station and responsibility. I'll keep an eye on your progress. The Empire rewards excellence, and so do I. You'd be wasted as a regular soldier. I have special plans for you. You'll be of greater use to me with greater flexibility. Make your way to our hidden military camp in the Pale. Rico will have important tasks for you, and will need you when we reclaim the capital. For the Emperor. Something to report? I need you to deliver some false orders to the Stormcloak commander in Dawnstar. But first, we need to get our hands on some rebel orders to make the forgeries. The Nightgate and Candle Hearth Inns are frequent stops for Stormcloak runners. See if you can't convince one of the innkeepers to help you. One way or another, get me those documents. But don't do anything rash if you go to Windhelm. Well, soldier, can you do this? Good. Make it happen, soldier.
I can't help you, friend. Talk to Hadring, the innkeeper. Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging? I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. I tend to keep my patrons privacy. It is? Well, that's different. He was here, but he left. If you leave now, you can probably catch him. Or you can just wait here. He'll be back soon enough. Anything you need, just holler. No time to talk, huh? 